it's about the uh, aim of this conference, but firstly, um, I wanna to ask you also to give information to web chat. Uh, is it uh, good uh, sound? And um, also, uh, please give me this information because uh, we need uh, good uh, sound. We need to have um, uh, good conversations because after our conference, we want to spread our ideas and uh, spread also um, information about projects uh, to different uh, government structures. So that's why it's. Uh, uh, must be uh, must be good uh, good connections. So please uh, tell me uh, about these organizing issues. Um, if uh, if it's okay, I will I will start also presentation. I will start presentation of our idea and of aim of uh, today's event. Is it okay with uh, Is it okay with uh, voice it's perfect yeah okay okay thank you thank you one more time so my name is katarina darchenko and um, i'm also tell a little bit about uh, our ngo and about me so um, firstly institute for democracy and development it's a uh, ukrainian based um, ngo think tank and uh, we for a long time working with educational pro uh, process in ukraine in democracy development also printing books about about democracy development, about uh, like free and fair elections. And uh, we do many experience exchange work also, like uh, two years ago, we uh, have a huge experience exchange uh, work in United States, in um, Washington DC. Um, and uh, now we also work in Washington DC, but uh, uh, with uh, not the same, um, not the same condition, yeah, and we must fight for our country. Um, also, I'm um, uh, head business or so have a business, um, uh, EC Group in Ukraine, uh, it's consulting company, and uh, also maybe you know about uh, my political work. We uh, also, like uh, two and a half years ago, registered new political force, like central political force, pro Western political force. And uh, before my father was a uh, very popular uh, member of parliament from southern Ukraine, and now our native region is occupied. It's my father under Russian sanctions because of his pro European and pro American position, and uh, Russian stake also all his friends and activists from his political team, and they beaten them. So uh, now it's a uh, situation, it's um, very difficult and uh, that's why on uh, this discussion um, I'm for example propose for you the next aim of our discussion. So the first aim uh, it's understanding of analyze what really happened in Ukraine from Ukrainians. Because here in DC, I also was on different think tank stocks uh, where about situation in Ukraine, uh, we are talking only with Americans or with uh, people who like here working in think tanks, but they originally from Europe, but not from Ukrainians. <laughs> That's why it's very important to understand what's really happened from Ukrainians. For example, I re represent you um, my vision about situation in Kherson region in southern Ukraine. Um, secondly, so it's like um, I'm, I will ask all Ukrainians to explain for three minutes their position about current situation. So of course, not like uh, we have war, but situation, for example, I work in uh, humanitarian sphere and I see um, uh, this uh, situation, these problems, these opportunities, and then other two, three minutes to represent directly your work, directly your work uh, in your region. For example, if your project connects uh, um, with humanitarian aid, please uh, uh, say to us what you directly do. Uh, if, uh, for example, you work with women's rights or human rights, please uh, also explain shortly what to do, because also after this, we uh, will uh, give to our website your direct contacts and contacts of your NGOs. And I hope that also in America, uh, more than um, 30, um, 100 million people and uh, in Europe, also many people who want to support Ukraine. And I think that this platform must be also a platform for communication 
information and for uh, you know more power to um, to your projects. Also, I am invite uh, here people uh, which also I'm trust and uh, I'm uh, really uh, it's a big honor that uh, they today with us and uh, they will represent uh, um, their projects which connected in Ukraine and um, also. Um, uh, second part, it will be a position from our uh, European partners, so people who in Europe are working of, on helping on Ukraine. So I also ask uh, you as European partners from Austria, from Germany, from Portugal, uh, from all over the Europe, we have quite a lot of people from Europe to represent your position about uh, like understanding uh, your position about understanding situation represent your project because many of you work in also with uh, uh, refugees pro uh, programs um, and uh, also uh, like give us a lot uh, more information what really Europeans think about situation and in third part um, I also ask uh, our American colleagues um, uh, to represent also their vision of uh, conflict to represent vision of uh, government and parliament um, uh, here in the United States and uh, of course also to do like conclusions um, after um, uh, information which you have from Ukrainians, from European partners, uh, and so on and so forth. Also, I must mention, like in organi uh, organizing issues, that uh, some people who uh, in Ukraine haven't not good internet connections, and some people have flights. So please uh, feel free to ask me, uh, give to you uh, direct your five uh, seven minutes if you have some circumstances and uh, if you can't be for two hours uh, I will be a moderator and uh, on to today it's an honor for me and um, I will give to you a world maybe earlier than like your blog because for example um, uh, Mrs. Lima she asked me earlier Mrs. Varava uh, so I'm I'm give to um, I'm Miss Varava I give to you um, your part of speech a little earlier and in conclusion of uh, my um, introduction um, I wanted to also represent my point in situation to Ukraine and also maybe give some terms for um, uh, for thinking um, about this. So firstly, uh, of course, um, I see a um, huge, huge problem uh, with the humanitarian issue in Ukraine. Uh, what's the problem? The problem is um, that we have billions of support of Western um, uh, of Western partners, but we have big logistical problems. So this humanitarian aid go to big hub, but then uh, when um, we try to deliver it from big humanitarian hub to small villages, and people in villages very poor, so they live for thirty dollars a month, not a day, not an hour, not a week, a month. And that's why they really need uh, to have this humanitarian support. And I know directly that in the Borigia region, in Kherson region, uh, occupied and not occupied, it's a problem because people in deeply villages haven't access to this humanitarian aid. So please um, also, I, I, I propose you also this term. Secondly, it's, uh, it's of course uh, understanding what uh, will be after our week win of Ukraine um, in Ukraine so it's discussion about uh, like foundations for um, support of Ukraine um, it's uh, also this discussion about maybe Marshall's plans in Ukraine it's more question to uh, our European and American partners uh, because uh, Ukrainian analytics wanna to understand uh, how now uh, we work on it third question it's of course question to our European partners 
because now we um, have uh, uh, millions of refugees to Europe and it's refugees to uh, Poland, it's refugees to Germany, it's uh, refugees to Austria and uh, thanks to colleagues uh, who, um, who from these countries also, also join us. And um, I uh, uh, also wanted to um, ask you uh, what you think and about like situation or you are give more weapons uh, to Ukraine and more support or uh, Europe must uh, be prepared for big uh, refugee problem and uh, also last week uh, for example our Institute for Democracy and Development sent more than um, 2,000 letters to politicians in Germany it's politicians from land tax so it's like federal parliament and uh, to federal governments like subjects of federation and uh, we also like ask them what is capacity of your budget for Ukrainian refugee and also uh, we uh, will ask some direct questions about uh, support of uh, about support of uh, uh, Ukraine and about more weapons to Ukraine because position of Germany position of France very important to us to understand um, uh, to understand what will be in Europe and how European Union uh, will um, will support our country so because there are also have one condition or support Ukraine now or have uh, like a big uh, a big refugee problem and I think that Putin will speculate on this term of course because I think that he won't also civilians because he wanted to create this um, refugee problem uh, program and and want to give more and more problems to European Union. Also, let's discuss this European issue. I think it's uh, very important and it's also very interesting to see position from our colleagues from Berlin, um, from our colleagues who um, worked in Germany. So how it looks like um, public policy position in Germany and how we can um, how we can uh, change it and also of course um, on uh, the next question I propose to you discussion about human rights about women's rights about Russia war crimes um, which now we we have in Ukraine uh, of course nobody don't uh, want to discuss it in details because it's like taboo term because it's really hard to know what really happens with women and children children in Ukrainian villages and in occupied territories, but we must help these people. And um, thanks uh, to people who work now on uh, um, on programs of uh, psychological helping to, uh, to these people. Also, I must mention that uh, um, now I'm working like two weeks in uh, Washington, D.C., and I have uh, meetings with politicians here, with lobbyists here, and uh, also we uh, sent many letters to uh, congressmen, to senators with explanation of what's happened in Ukraine and with proposals to do more wider program of support also all these issues from questions of um, uh, trade bonds, which were um, uh, like um, in bills, uh, it was voted two weeks ago, I think, yes, so before uh, vacation of uh, American uh, parliament and also Biden's initiative. But we also need to have more wider program for humanitarian aid and more wider program for aid uh, for women and child, and maybe more pressure to European Union. But let's discuss uh, all these questions. It's uh, my point of view and, of course, one more time and I'm also ask um, here people on demonstrations here in DC and uh, on every my interview to TV and to, to, to projects which we do with journalists it's of course um, uh, remember not only um, not only for uh, Kiev region but also about Kherson region because now it's political pressure now Russians trying to do their political regime there now they go to 
uh, villages houses and stolen uh, like um, uh, st stolen also animals from people and do pressure to people and unfortunately there are no journalists and uh, we can't see all this horror which happens also in my own Kherson region it's you know after Crimea so that's why it's also very important to mention um, also Kherson region and to try and to help people uh, give green corridors give humanitarian aid because now it's totally blocked by russians if you will i of course uh, will give you more information in this conversation uh, now i also will copy to our our chat uh, more information about speakers and uh, you can see um, and you can see also this information to orient uh, about short uh, biography of each other. And um, um, that's why, firstly, as uh, um, firstly as uh, I mentioned, I wanted to I wanted to give. Um, I wanted to give opportunity to speech to uh, my Ukrainian colleagues, um, to my Ukrainian colleagues, and. Uh, um yes uh please please it's if possible we um will start in from uh mr bere 